This is a cautionary tale in using commentary, commentary in Bible study. This is a cautionary tale in using commentary in Bible study. And commentary is basically what you might find in a study Bible. You might find it online, particularly when you use sites like Bible Hub or Blue Letter Bible, you'll find commentaries attached to scriptures that you're reading as reference material. And that's all they are. Um, they're just reference material. And when we look at it, the root word in commentary is comment. And so it is someone's comment on scripture. It is someone's interpretation of scripture. It is someone's view or perspective on scripture but the key to it is that it's not God's word. It's not biblical and it doesn't replace God's word. It is something that you might reference based upon its alignment and its interpretation with God's word. And so since it's not God's word, right? It's someone else's interpretation or analysis of God's word. It's someone's comment. And so when we look at commentary, we have to be careful when we utilize commentary in Bible study because commentary, uh, once again, it's not God's work. And in doing so, we take into consideration where does that perspective come from? Where does that interpretation come from? And when we put all those pieces together, commentary breaks down into something that is really a personal perspective for someone, it's a theological perspective for someone. It may involve some analysis. It may just involve some, you know, aha moment that someone had, but there's no guarantee with commentary that it is something that is in alignment with the belief system of what you're looking at as a Christian. And so, take into consideration different denominational influences, different theological influences, commentary that existed prior to the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls, commentary that doesn't match uh, the Bible that you're studying, commentary that doesn't match or is rooted only in the King James Version, commentary that is based upon something that was occurring when you look at you know, Martin Luther, and what was going on during his period of time? What was the focus of spiritual development and spiritual growth at that time versus what was the views and worldviews and perspectives occurring at that time? And so you're dealing with influences of someone's doctrine, denomination that can influence what they have to say about what the scriptures say. Think about that. It's secondhand information and it's not a replacement or substitute for the scripture itself. It is supposed to be supplemental and something that's an added reference that might be of support, but it's not a guarantee. And so when we look at commentary, right? Commentary, it's not God's word, right? And the root word of it is comment. It is someone's comment on the scriptures. It is someone else's view on the scriptures. And so take that into account that that's what it is. It's someone else's perspective on the scriptures and it's not God's word. And put that into another view. It's not biblical, but more theoretical. They're theorizing, they're analyzing, they're putting into perspective what they believe it would be, and it's not God's word. I, I can't stress that enough that it's not God's word. It is someone else's interpretation. And so we have to believe and understand that it's just someone else's comment on God's word. It's not a replacement of God's word. And that's highly important to keep in mind when we use it for Bible study. And so here it is in a snapshot. Commentary is rooted in the word comment. That's someone's perspective. That's someone's view. That's someone's analysis. That's someone's interpretation. 
it's not God's word. It is not as sound as the Bible, and it may not come from sound doctrine. It is someone else's interpretation or analysis of God's word. That's where someone else utilized all their tools available to them and whatever inspiration they had, and that's the interpretation that they came up with, and that's the interpretation and analysis that they came up with for God's word, but it's not God, it's man. It's not biblical, it's theoretical, it's someone else's theory, and it has its own place, but it's not God's word, just someone else's comments and opinion on God's word. And so you have to be careful with commentary, right? Because commentary, it's not God's word. It is rooted in the word comment. It is man, not God. It's man's views, not God's word. I hope this helps somebody because this is real important when it comes to Bible study. And if we're going to be using commentary during our Bible study, we have to be careful with how that appears and sounds and does it match with what the word itself is saying and our own views on the word and is it supported by not just that text in that translation but is it supported throughout the scriptures because the scriptures will complement each other not necessarily complement the commentary. Like I said, I hope this helps. This has been Bible Study Help. I'm Rev. Bruce. Godspeed. God bless.